Hi, I make an eye revamp wigs for people. I also sell hair products and accessories that help you make sure that you use your hair for as long as possible without it getting damaged. All we have here today is um, a bottle of water, of course. Our spray bottles from What Did It Hair and Wigs, then almond oil, pure coconut oil, and leave-in conditioner. I'll be showing you two types of leave-in leave -in conditioner that you can use for your weaves and for your own hair also. This is our water, as I said earlier, spray bottle, almond oil, coconut oil, and leave-in conditioner. I advise people, my clients especially, to use very good products for their hair. The better products you use, the longer your weave is going to last. So, this leave-in conditioner is I want to okay. It has a very, very nice yummy smell. It's extra light on the hair and it is transparent. It's not like all these leave-in conditioners that they are always um, cloudy. I'm not saying they are bad though. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's just personal opinion. It's not like all those leave-in conditioners that that, that, that once you apply them and once you spray them to your hair they always like you start seeing color maybe like green or white or cloudy this one this one just rhymes straight up with your hair no difference at all but but something i've noticed is this i advise my clients to use diluted living conditioners the reason the reason being that most of the times I find that living conditioners can be very high concentrated and I don't like it. The reason why is because the more products you use on your hair, the more you have to wash it frequently. So I tell them I tell them to dilute, use diluted living conditioner because meaning that they mix it with water normally. So it will last longer, you still get the same results. And some people don't know when to stop spraying. Still, the whole hair starts looking because the more products you use, then the hair will start looking dull over time, and then start feeling dirty, and sometimes start stinking. Then it already start itching, and for you know what's happening, it's a wig, and you're wearing it to start giving you product build up and all. And we do not want that to start giving you dandruffs personally, and we definitely do not want that. So I say use diluted leave conditioner so without much ado about anything next step the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your bottle is clean then you take your leave-in conditioner you only need a little bit maybe like one part one part to to one part leave-in conditioner to two parts of water i mean for every for every part okay then let me just demonstrate this is how much i'm willing to use right now and as you can see the bottle is the the living the conditioner is transparent so you just pour then i just need this amount and then you pour you pour water you can use clean water any type of don't mind oh, don't mind the bottle. You can use any type of water so long as it is clean water and then you just pour this. Okay, maybe it's not one part to three parts. But then it still works. So you see, you see, you see what I'm saying. The the conditioner is still there and it's still fuming. So you can so you can imagine imagine in sharing by in the by it was the only one you were using. That would have just been that would have just been that would have just been too much for your hair too concentrated for your hair in my in my opinion so i say use it like this and i think i want to pour some more water this is this is still too too much for my liking So you can use it to detangle your hair. You can use it to detangle for detangling. Um, I want to see okay here is a 14 in 1 Miracles Natural. I'm not saying they said. I want to see okay is a, is a 14 in 1 Miracles Natural and it has apple cinder vinegar, static free living conditioner with black castor oil, 
as you can see and it is for all air types it is very lightweight it tames freeze strengthens no sulfates parabens and alcohol so as we're saying as, as, as we were saying how to you you can definitely see there is no no leakage at all from the from the from the spray bottle you can't you cannot experience leakage of any kind and you can lock it you're allowed to lock this is i've, I've closed i've closed the mouth of the spray of the spray bottle so nothing is going to be yeah, direct directions on top there is the off and the string so you turn it and then you make it string see i need to see the direction of the water you can see very very small drops the further it is the small so it is and you can see there are a lot coming out so you want to reduce it a little bit and then it reduces and then you want to reduce it a little bit we're increasing it now and then let's reduce it <laughs> so we'll finally switch it off and nothing nothing okay now this is one this is one then the second one you can also use this for your natural hair too actually it's very good the second part of this video is going to be is major is also living conditioner it's also living conditioner recipe huh? and it is for those people that if you are into natural hair this is for you let me start like this we have different types of oils that they are very very good for natural hair among which are olive oil almond oil coconut oil lavender oil thai oil tea tree oil argan oil yes those are, those are like the few I can remember. Almost every, yeah, black castor oil is what, also one of them. Almost every, every ear product has this as a constituent in them. Every natural ear product has it as a constituent. So, but for today, the essential oils I'll be using are almond oil and coconut oil. These oils, especially, they are very, very good very very good and you can get them in any grocery store or maybe any hair shop they, they should be selling this this actually they should be selling this and these brands these brands i trust them yeah they're, they're very very good oils and they absorb they are absorbed into the skin and the air follicles very very fast what we are going to be doing is this water of course your hair needs water if your hair does not need anything believe me your hair needs water it needs to be moisturized but we need to be able to seal to keep the water in in the hair so it does not just evaporate or dry up or your hair does not your hair does your, your hair does not just become frizzy what you do is this you pour a little bit almond oil okay he still has this one. You put a little bit almond oil. One. Six. Two. You pour. And then you put a little coconut oil. You can pour as many essential oils as you want into one bottle and mix them together. And coconut oil. So you will put that into. And then. And then, of course, you shake it up. See, you just made your very own leave-in conditioner. You can use this for your weave, definitely. It's very, very good. You can pour water if you feel like it. But well, this is okay. Then some people had a little bit leave-in conditioner to it. It does not mean anything. 
He just makes it more professional. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's all we're gonna have. And then you mix it together. And then you shake it. Shake it well. And then you use. Of course, this is a used paper bottle, so it's okay. Take time. Okay, now oh, it's off. Let's switch it on. Of course. See, see the floor. I want you to be able to see it. I hope you can. I'm driving. I think you just spray. That's what I do. So, these are the two types of conditioners that I definitely recommend. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any other ideas, I'm open and I'm interested in, in learning and in listening to you. So, please, or if you have questions to ask me, you can definitely ask me in the comment section, of course. Until next time, bye.